<laughs> and then I did, I, I did a debate with the, the woman who is now the mayor, and I said, uh, she said that was there are too many potholes. I said, well, think of them as reverse speed bumps. Then I thought, a chicken in every pothole. Then I thought, uh-oh, the animal rights activist. I said, a rubber chicken in every pothole. That was flashed throughout the universe. <laughs> well, you once ran a... What was it? You ran something pig. for pig. Yeah, a pig <laughs> for president. 1968. Hey, that guy's with it. A yeah. pig for president. Well, he wasn't even alive. She then, was the here. first female black and white candidate for that high office. <laughs> we, we broke a lot of ground with the pig. And then in 72, we ran a rock for president and a roll for vice president. So you could always eat the vice president as we cooked up different rolls, jelly rolls, cinnamon rolls, <laughs> like that. And then, then I spaced the rock out in a taxi cab in New York. And from up the spinal telegraph came the concept of Nobody, nobody's perfect. Nobody keeps all campaign promises. Nobody bakes apple pie better than mom. If nobody wins, nobody loses. <laughs> it's a pair of ducks, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I wasn't, oh, first of all, by the way, for those who don't remember the Woodstock generation, we have a piece of tape here. This is from the Woodstock movie. I remember Woodstock. I survived actually two Woodstocks. Well, this is a picture of you in Woodstock number one. Number one, yes. This is a I tape was skinnier. Of it right here. Take a look at this. Body by Ben and Jerry. <laughs> Good morning. What we have in mind is breakfast in bed for 400,000. Now, it's not going to be steak and eggs or anything, but it's going to be good food, and we're going to get it to you. Aww. Breakfast in bed for 400000 yes. and yes. you delivered with, with of all things. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. This, this was an actual fact. Uh, we introduced hippies to granola at that time. We put granola in Dixie cups and took it to hippies in sleeping bags. Nice looking underwear you got. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Roger. You got my wife bought this. No, you're I'm going to be right signing here. underwear this after uh, this evening. You know. Yeah, you're going to. Oh, look, it's got the Grateful Dead logo on it. Right yes, it does. Yeah, this is this is what he fixed up for mm, me right here. China Cat Sunflower, looking something stylish. Something a little more, uh, something a little more traditional than what Joe was wearing here earlier. Yeah, you're going to be oh. at. Uh, Joe's Tyrone taking off his underwear. Uh, where am I going to be? This is important. Tyrone Square Mall Tyrone at Square uh, it's Mall. Burdines. 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 I've heard at, it before. At Tyrone yes. Square Mall from yeah. 7 until 9 o'clock this evening. And everybody's getting ice cream that comes. Any, any flavor of Ben & Jerry you want. Yum, yum. Could we have the dessert mantra? Yum. Um, Let me hear you. Yum. yum. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, and there's a Ben & Jerry ice cream now called, is there a wavy gravy? Wavy gravy, absolutely. There is a wavy gravy. Yes. I thought so. And it comes in a tie-dyed container, just like me. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, can you stick around a few minutes with our chef, who's going to come out here in a minute, the third best cook For in food? Yeah. yeah. I'm there. Can you eat duck? Do you like duck? <laughs> duck. This is you great bet. duck. <laughs> That's what, I, in my children's camp, I call it survival in the 21st century, or how to duck with a sense of humor. <laughs> okay, so. we'll, we'll call it duck with a sense of humor. <laughs> Coming up next, Charles Knight is back with us. Yay! Coming up next, the night of the dinner table. All of the products used by Charles Knight on Harris Live are from Healthcraft. Hey, we wouldn't use anything but the best, and you shouldn't either. Put Healthcraft cookware in your kitchen. It's the waterless, greaseless cookware that comes in two fine lines. Take a look at the Gold Classic and the new Silver Classic. Come see the Healthcraft Cooking Show Live, where with every purchase, you get the Harris Live cookbook absolutely free. See the Healthcraft Cooking Show Live at the Gulfy Square Mall in Newport Ritchie and the Sarasota Square Mall in Sarasota now through Christmas. How does Prudential Healthcare Senior Care make people feel? Well, like this, and this. This is common. We see a lot of this, too. Definitely this. This we hardly ever see. We really frown on this. Now this is more like it. And now Prudential Healthcare Senior Care can make you feel like this. With no planned premium beyond your Medicare Part B, no deductibles, and the quality you expect from a rock-solid Medicare HMO. Call toll-free for our free brochure. Just reading it can make you feel good. Maybe like this. And for some of you, like this. Because we cover more than traditional Medicare and most Medicare supplemental insurance plans combined. You get prescription coverage with no annual limit, annual vision and hearing exams. 
and you choose your doctor from a network of carefully screened physicians. Which should have you feeling something like this, occasionally like this, and almost always like this. Call Prudential Healthcare Senior Care now for our free brochure. You'll feel great. See? This portion of Harris Live is brought to you by Maple Leaf Farm. Maple Leaf Farm. Good food made easy. <laughs> and Maple Leaf Farms is plum pleased as punch to present the third best cook in America, the man who created Healthcraft Cookware, the author of numerous cookbooks, and our good friend, Mr. Charles Knight, hey. Knight of the Dinner Table. And along doing? with Wavy Gravy. A round of applause, a round of applause, it's like this. He dropped your fish. Well, just a round of applause is like this, so you don't have to bang your head. It's That's not right. as violent. I never thought of that. It's a good know? idea. Yep. It's kind of like quiet, that. but not as hey, violent. Hey, you know what I got? I have one of the original Woodstock albums. Ooh. Well, you sure do. Isn't that something? Matter of fact, I got two of them. He signed both of them. Who in the heck is Hugh Romney? I used to be. I, I, know. I, got, I became Wavy Gravy in 1969 at the Texas Pop Festival, <laughs> and I got that name from B.B. King. Now, why did really? he call you Wavy Gravy? I keep asking him. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I don't know. He's <laughs> just walking out and saying, hey, Here's wavy gravy. Why do you call it? I don't know. Well, what are we going to do here cooking-wise? Well, believe it or not, we're going to cook uh, Woodstock duck with wavy gravy. Good morning. <laughs> what do we have in, in mind honor. is an excellent duck for about count their legs and divide by two. <laughs> People out here in the audience. But and you know, you know, yeah, duck is a, you know, we've been cooking it for the last couple of weeks from Maple Leaf Farm. Excellent. I, you know, I never realized how good duck was. Oh, I've always so loved duck. Properly. Oh, this is great yeah. duck. So we're going we're gonna to get you to help. Okay. Then, okay. But yeah. see, Jack has to do the honors. What we're going to do is we're going to skin the ch uh, the uh, duck leg. Ah. Yeah. See if I remember now, that I've, or, I've already week. started this one, so you can see how it's supposed oh. to look. No, no, you have to oh, do, that have to do that one. I we're used to be able to skin the cat. But yeah. Let's see. As I they recall, still do that in Chinatown. You know. Cat orange, yes. <laughs> Which knife did you use? I use the uh, utility knife. Is that that one? Yes, that's utility knife. Okay. I've already I shopped. Forgot. How did you start that Okay, now you got to flip it over. Flip it over. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way if you like. No. If you like to do it that way, you can. That's not the way you do. No, remember what we did last week? You I kind, forgot. kind of hold your finger right here. Oh, you right? hold your yeah, finger you hold here. Your finger right and then there. you skin that back. Yeah, and see as soon as you get it back this far, you can pull the rest off. Okay, Very like simple. this. No, 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 no. I'm not doing no, that right. No, no, you don't move, don't, don't move the knife. Move the uh here, like this. Watch. You move it's one. Not the meat, it's kind of like this. Oh, I see. See what he did? Right, see I that? see. You don't move the chicken. No, Look at that. Yeah. This is very painful for the Pull chicken, it. though. Yes. You have to make sure he's dead before you do that. Yes. Because it does hurt. Now, how, about, how about just that little bit well, you, there? You can pull that out as well. Now, what this does, it reduces the fat. And believe it or not, this, this recipe is only about 16, 18 grams of fat. I'm having a little amazing. trouble with this part right here. Well, you always have a tr lot of trouble with everything. Okay, let's see. <laughs> when it comes to the kitchen. Right here in River City. Well, watch okay. how easy this is. See, you just grab the skin and you just pull it off. Look at okay. him. Grab that part right yeah, there. Yeah, just pull it off. See? Now, what you have, why is it that you... I'm so happy to be an observer. <laughs> how this do is you... a nasty chicken. He... Well, that thing did... was attached. No, it wasn't. Here, look at it. Well, I should hope okay. so. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Just <laughs> drop it in like this. Ah, well, that looks mess. almost look like this. it's supposed to. Well, it's got some little... Oh, we'll put that in there anyway. Hang it on. What you want to do... I think I got this a little bit too hot, so I'm going to push it up there. Whoa, right? look at that! Now, what you, want, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to let this brown... We got any more... Oh, wait, I got a... Just wipe it on towel. the tie. New paper towel. <laughs> it's halogen. Halogen, it is. All right, what you want to do is brown it on one side, and, uh, and then that's about eight minutes. And once you've got it browned, you're ready to make the wavy gravy. I'm going to get this out of the way. Oh, I oh, use no. the halogen in my martini. Halogen <laughs> <laughs> in your martini. <laughs> Now we're gonna let since you're wavy gravy, we're yes. gonna give you the honor of mixing the gravy. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now this is a very very simple recipe. The first thing you do is you take the crushed pineapple. Yes. Put it in yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Crushed very pineapple. Good. You already got the. All right. Knack. To that you add just a little bit of cloves. 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 A little bit. Just a little bit. Not no. too much. A little bit more than that. A little bit more. Yeah. Than you want to get bit. some taste. That's yeah. a pinch. That's good. One more pinch, and you'll be in good shape. Ouch! It's about a, it's about a quarter of a teaspoon. That's what it comes right. down to. All right. We're going to use the rest of the liquid from those pineapple no slices. All right. And what happens and, to the pineapples? Well, we're going to use them later. We're going to use some yellow mustard. The yellow mustard goes in there next. Not much in there. Well, you want to use How about. Much? Oh, you have to open it first. Why? I see you. You've learned from Jack. 
<laughs> How much? Just about a quarter of a cup. It really, you know, the, the exact measurements are not really important. It's just basically a of a how you like there. it. Well, that, that should do it. <laughs> it's doing the funny mantra. Okay. Now we're going to put some. We're going to put some brown sugar in it as well. Yeah, I think this is about done. There you go. You're in good shape. Brown sugar. Well, I measured it out perfectly. Brown sugar. And you want to use about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, I know how much that is. Now, in this case, I'm using a light brown sugar because a dark brown sugar would make it too dark, make the gravy too dark. Okay. Okay. And to that, we have we have secret a secret ingredient. Mmm. And this is. Uh, well, I think he went to my. There, we go. there you go. That's that's good. Okay. That's There's our new ingredient. Ooh, that's nice called wavy gravy. What? It is. Look at. You ben and wave. Jerry are going to be upset. Yeah, well, it's Ben and Jerry's wavy, wavy gravy. Oh. <laughs> wavy gravy. Look right. at that. Right on the, uh, so just add about a teaspoon of wavy gravy to that. And yeah, we're going to take a uh, wavy gravy break here and be back in a moment and show you how to finish up this duck with all the good stuff in it. Wait a minute. Join us tomorrow as we stomp our way to some great sounds. Enthusiastic bunch out here. I think actually just trying to stay warm. But uh, we, we do have a great show coming up here today because Charles Knight is cooking one of the finest dishes I've ever smelled out here. I haven't tasted it yet, but if it tastes anything like it smells, it's going to be incredible. Plus, the men of note are here who entertain throughout Bush Gardens all year long and during the holiday season. Of course, they have those great holiday sounds. This is Joel and I grow our producer right over hey, here. Hey, did you even see what he's making back there? Yeah, well, I saw it. It's it's uh, a duck thing. It's got but prunes in it. It's got what? Prunes in it. I can't hear around this thing. Prunes in it. Prunes. So it's got prunes in it. What is <laughs> what's wrong with that? It also has a duck and a bunch of other stuff. I don't want anything prunes in it. <laughs> I certainly don't need it. You don't. The prunes don't do anything to alter the taste that dramatically of the dish. Well, they alter some other things, though. That's an old husband's tale. I mean, you have to eat the whole prunes. I mean, the, in a duck dish, it just gives you a little taste. I'll, I'll let you eat this one. All right, jeez, what a, what a namby what, What's going on with the neck thing? Oh, the neck thing. This, oh, jeez. I'll tell you what happened. You know who Mike Allstott is. You know Mike Allstott, number 40 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the big guy who's going to be all pro fullback, undoubtedly, this year. By the way, how many people do we have here? Do we have any people from Wisconsin or Green Bay? Raise your hand, holler, yo. They're still lingering, apparently. Now, they don't have much voices left after yesterday, either. They sounded louder than our people did out there. Hey, look, we love to have you people from Wisconsin and Green Bay, but next time, don't bring Brett Favre with you. <laughs> well, anyway, going back to my story, uh, last night after the game, way after the game, we had to tape a commercial involving myself and Mike Allstott. And apparently, he was still a little angry after the game. Yeah, well, first of all, a take a look at the commercial for the event guide, and maybe this will help explain. To find out what's going on before it happens, you need to subscribe to the event guy. Concerts, family events, sports. How about the Bucks and Mike Allstock? <laughs> what hit me? Sorry, Jack. I was running to get my favorite magazine, the event guide. You don't need to run. Pick up this subscription form at Barnes & Noble bookstores or order a Little Caesars pizza. Now, order today and you get a $10 pizza coupon. Plus a great poster. Event guide. You don't just read it, you live it. Mike, you know a doctor? Well, that, that looks easy enough, right? But the problem is, when you do commercials like that, that's actually a bunch of sequences that were taped separately. And the first part, we kept, well, if we, you know, you had to get everything just right so his head was in the right place and he was smiling and things like that. So, well, take a look at this. This is the problem of having to do it again and again and again and again every time. And then you had to shoot it from the front and do it again and again and again and again and again. And, again. and we must have done this thing about 40 times. And that's why I am 
hurting a little bit this morning. And I would imagine there are a couple of Green Bay defenders that are probably feeling the same as I do in spite of the fact they held him to a very few yards. Anyway, we'll be... I'm not going to wear this son of a gun. I can't handle this thing here. We'll be back in just a moment. Get out of here.